guys, I'm coming to you today from beautiful, sunny Larnaca, Cyprus. Cyprus may not be the first place you think of for a digital nomad destination, but it's actually a solid one. Located in the Mediterranean Sea between Turkey, Greece, Lebanon, and Syria, Cyprus is a stunning island paradise with the lowest crime rate in the European Union. An added bonus for non-European visitors, Cyprus is actually in the EU but not part of the Schengen area yet, so it doesn't count towards your 90-day Schengen visa, which is great. But there's so much more. In 2017, Cyprus was also ranked as the safest country in the world for young people by the World Health Organization. This former British colony has historically been a very important trading point between the East and West, and its culture reflects it with a dynamic fusion of food, residents from around the world, and an open, tolerant way of thinking. Today, Cyprus is a major destination for tourists and foreigners alike, with a very reasonable cost of living. High-income expats from around the world are also attracted to the country's business-friendly tax policies and regulations. It's also possible to purchase residency or citizenship here, which can grant you access to travel within the EU. With 350 days of sunshine per year, Cyprus is also perfect for a holiday. The sunny, warm climate year-round also results in some amazing cuisine. The Mediterranean diet is alive and well here. You can find an abundance of fresh seafood, salads, produce, dried fruit and nuts, farm fresh milk, eggs, cheese, yogurt, and even award-winning honey. Meat eaters will love the beef, lamb, and chicken platters available everywhere. Fun fact, Cyprus is also known for having delicious potatoes which have a unique flavor from being grown in red clay soil. If you come for a visit, make sure you also try the fried halloumi cheese that can be found on almost every menu. The local wine also obviously deserves a mention, but in short, Cyprus is a foodie's paradise. So what else is in it for digital nomads? Well, let's talk internet. You can get up to an 80 megabyte download speed with four upload for about 50 euro per month which isn't the best, but it's not the worst in the world. A fiber network is also coming soon, although it's probably going to be limited to parts of the major metropolitan areas. SIM cards can be purchased at the airport or many of the local stores, but I found that speeds are inconsistent depending on where you are within the country and can sometimes even revert to 3 or 2G. So where can you work? Well, co-working spaces are still few and far between, but can be found in Limassol and Larnaca, two of the biggest coastal urban areas, as well as Nicosia, the inland capital. How about fun? Party animals can find nightlife on almost every corner of the country, especially the legendary Aya Napa. Cyprus also offers a plethora of outdoor activities, such as hiking, cycling, boating, sailing, and pretty much any water sport. So how do you get there? Most of Europe's discount airlines fly directly into one of three main international airports, so you can easily get there from the mainland. You can also zip right over from the Middle East. It can be as low as a 10 euro flight one way between Cyprus and Lebanon. The only thing you really need to worry about in Cyprus is staying cool and finding fast Wi-Fi. The country is stable politically, however, it was separated into the Greek and Turkish occupied sides during the Civil War of 1974. As you can imagine, this is a complicated topic and the future outcome is still uncertain. The capital of Nicosia is currently the only divided city in Europe, but it's still safe to visit. Have you guys ever been to Cyprus? If so, tell me how you liked it in the comments. Do you have a request for a video on a different digital nomad destination? If so, also let me know. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time.